Hello, Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected friends and everybody. Uh, today's date is Tuesday, 13th of uh, July 2021, and uh, it's uh, the 17th of Dulkadda. Uh, so, sorry, well, I don't know what the Islamic date is today. It's uh, Islamic date is uh, supposed to be uh, very quickly. Islamic date today is uh, Wednesday, Thursday. 13th so very quickly uh, first of all i want to say uh, in the last video that we i made uh, about the footballs coming home uh, england's out of the european cup and good luck and best wishes for future it's never too late uh, well done well done since 1966 uh, you know it was something that was achieved even though we lost with italy a few days ago but uh, there was a lot of disturbances and appeal to everybody to keep, keep calm and uh, there's still plenty of time in the future well then the determination is still there so anyway today uh, i want to speak about mainly um the best 10 days of the world the best 10 days of the world so if you are from the obviously from the islamic muslim community uh, inshallah you'll understand what i'm talking about and if you are from the christian or somebody else uh, it'll be interesting for you. So the, 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 the main thing that I want to point out today is that the, in the Islamic calendar, we have the 12 months and this is the Hajj month, the Kurbani month and the Arafat day. So basically this month we have, uh, it started on, uh, it started for those people who follow Saudi uh, on Tuesday, Sorry, the first was on 11th of July. The first day of Jul Hajjah was on 11th on Sunday of July. And it will be for these 10 days, which are more holier than even the holy month of Ramadan. Not many people know that, but trust me, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. I've consulted with the ulamas and they are more holier than the days of the holy month of Ramadan. Now, some say it's just the first 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan. Others say, no, it, these 10 days are more holier. And in virtues, in virtues, in sawab, in nakis, uh, these 10 days, you should be fasting. And one day, you can times that by 10,000 day, 1,000 day, one day is equivalent to 1,000 day. And the 9th of Jil Hijjah, which is the Arafat day, which is where, you know, if you are at Hajj, you'll go in the land of Arafah, which is a town called Arafah, and you'll be fasting there as well. And that day is equivalent to 10,000 days. So whatever you uh, get as virtues and blessings and nakis for that one day, times it by 10,000. And it's a fantastic way to gain rewards from God Almighty for the life hereafter, because we are only going to go empty-handed unless we you know, do these good things, good, good uh, nakis. So what are the best 10 days of the world? By the way, uh, can I just make an apology in the last video that uh, I made? I, I said England's coming home and, and, I, and I used the word, let's do azan on England coming home. So my apologies unreservedly from the bottom of my heart. We shouldn't uh, use any words, although it's not, uh, uh, you know, well, I'll leave it at that. Apologies. Uh, anyway, the best days of the world, the 10 days before Idul Adha, what are the best days of the world? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, the best days of the world are the 10, that is to the, the 10 days leading to the Eid, which are known as the 10 days of Zul Hijjah. We hear our friends and families going for Hajj and in a way envy them that how fortunate and lucky these they are. Indeed, they are very blessed and lucky to be the guest of Almighty. Uh, but how merciful and kind is Allah that His mercy and grace is not restricted to, those, to only those that are fortunate to go for Hajj. But He gave us these 10 days. Now listen, He gave us these 10 days so that no matter where a person is, He will not be deprived from the vast oceans of Allah's mercy. Regarding these 10 days, Ibn Abbas reports that the Prophet ﷺ said, there are no days in which good deeds are more pleasing and in another narration, more rewarding and more virtuous to Allah than the good deeds which are done in the 10 days of Jil Hajjah. The Sahaba asked, not even jihad in the path of Allah? The Prophet ﷺ said, no, not even jihad in the path of Allah, except the person who gave the ghost to fight and his body and wealth and does not return and that's from Bukhari 
Subhanallah, the namaz which we read and fast which are kept are, and zikr which is done in these 10 days is more rewarding than ziha, than anything. What more is to say regarding its virtue when Allah Ta'ala himself takes an oath of these 10 days in the Holy Quran. So Allah Ta'ala kasam khata hai uh, uh, and by the dawn and by the 10 nights of Surah Al-Fajr which is in Quran, whatever Allah Ta'ala says shows its importance but still Allah Ta'ala takes kasam to show its greatness. Okay, so Allah Ta'ala actually gives kasam to show its greatness. The famous Sahabi Anas Ta'ala reports that it used to be said in the times of Sahaba that each day of these 10 days is equivalent to a 1000 days in virtue and the day of the Arafah, 9 Julhijjah, was equivalent to 10,000 days. Right? So what should a person do? Keep fast for all 10 days if possible and it has been mentioned in the Hadith every fast is equal to fasting for one whole year. So if you fast one whole year each fasting but if you fast on the 9th of Julhijjah which is the Arafat day which is a day before the Eid so Eid is on Tuesday 20th of July 2021 so day before that is Monday the fast finishes here in Batley Dewsbury at 1.14 Subo Sadiq 1.14 right uh, and uh, Subo Sadiq is actually 1.24 but 10 minutes before that and uh, I think 9.28 is the iftari, the, the end of the fasting. So you get the reward of one whole year. Sorry, you, sorry. You are forgiven the sins for the past year, all the sins for the past year. But there's a tricky one, this one. You are also forgiven the sins for the next year, which means some people interpret that you will not die next year. I don't know too much about it, but uh, it's something that certain people interpret. Arafat ka roza agar rakhe, Arafat ka din ka, Arafat ka din ka, to ek din, ek saal pishle ka guna maaf ho jata hai, aur ek saal aage ka bhi guna maaf ho jata hai. Yani ke you'll live, you won't die, but don't quote me on it. Uh, anyway, so, you know, if you want to do kurbani, you give, uh, so it's the month of Arafat day, Eid day, and kurbani day. So if you want to give kurbani, you get, reward of every hair that's on the animal anyways uh, here in Bakli Dewsbury our Afnewales you know they give a kurbani of a, a big janwar camel or sh guy which is cow now if you want to give a kurbani of cow uh, India Pakistan uh, in Pakistan is okay it's a Muslim country please don't give it in India right because it's not allowed in India and I urge people not to uh, not to give kurbani of guy in India because it's illegal in India and you know you must respect the, 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 the Indian government and the Hindu culture and Hindu religion. I've always uh, you know um, uh, re uh, requested people. However in certain parts of uh, the West Bengal and Bangladesh area the kurbani is only 110 pound you need to see our side by Bismillah. If you want to phone him 01924 Four seven seventeen thirty five, and uh, you can give uh, one part, which is for, um, I think sixteen pound, or whole whole seven parts for one hundred and ten pound. There are many people doing kurbani, and I also suggest that you do kurbani of one animal, you know, one sheep or something, and be careful because this year the lambs are not big enough. They've got to have teeth, and there's a special rules for kurbani. So you know, be careful. Uh, you know, please try to basically consult with your local imams on kurbani i've got to go now it's already nine minutes and i said i won't go over 10 minutes so do let pass this message on to uh, youtubers and uh, please do forgive me if i've made any mistakes we do a lot and uh, please do remember to tell your masjids to go on e-masjid just get download the app from the app department and e-masjids there are so many masjids there they all go live and you can also record the bands on the e-masjids and uh, you know my masjid now it's a uh, it's a uh, half past five but it's still playing some bands it's still playing some bands uh, and we play bands every day recordings uh, so you know go on to e-masjids and encourage your masjid to go for e masjid it's about 150 160 pound a year the license and our lads here in Buckley if you go on apps and download e-masjid app that will basically tell you everything about it. So Eid Mubarak to everybody, Arafa Mubarak to everybody, Kurbani Mubarak to everybody, and please remember me in your prayers, Akuji Barat from Masjid Madrasa Nurul Islam, Snow Street, Batley, West Yorkshire, and uh, 
Ciao for now. Assalamu alaikum. Khudafiz. Please. Khudafiz.